If you liked my videos, please like and subscribe and leave a comment at some point in one of these videos that you watch um, that you appreciate these and that I'm helping and um, before you give it a thumbs down, please tell me why and give me some feedback. So anyways, um, I bring to you today um, one of my most, how do we fix it a little bit? Okay. One of my um, most prized possessions. I actually, okay, I have a lot of wigs, so I can't really say that, but I really love this piece. So anyways, um, this is Arrow, Ellen Ville's Arrow, and the color is Light Bernstein Rooted. So I had another Ellen Ville. I've, this, I've only had two Ellen Villes, and it's disappointing because I love, I love these pieces. I have another Arrow though, and it was in um, Caramel Lighted, which is a blonde rooted piece. And um, I got that one like sometime last year and um, so I'll add that video in as well. And that one was, um, I even had it out, out in like the real world and um, it was, you know, I talked about how it was windy out and the hair just got all mad and matty and how it did tangle easily. And if you watched any reviews of Arrow, um, I would not be the first person to tell you that these fibers, um, that the, the fibers before an arrow felt really dry and tangly. So as I go on with this piece, with this review, I just want to say that they have obviously watched all the reviews and heard people's gripes and complaints because they've upped their game. Because this arrow feels way more smoother and silkier than my other arrow. It, I've worn it out and about and um, other than like the average, you know, typical tangles that any long hair is going to get, um, there really hasn't been any. It's been so easy to comb out and um, it's just been lovely. And so if you had an arrow in the past and you were um, very concerned about the, um, the tangling, uh, try an arrow again because they, the way they're making them now, it doesn't feel that same way. This, these fibers do not feel anything like the fibers of the other arrow that I had. Um, and so I applied Ellenville, the Ellen Villa, sorry, for upping their game on their arrows because now I can buy one in almost every single color and know that they're gonna feel amazing. Because my other arrow, I'm, you know, hesitant to wear it because she just was dry and, you know, it was just, I had to make sure it was not windy at all um, when I would wear that piece out or I had to like, you know, put her in a ponytail or a braid because of those fibers. But I don't have to worry about this with this piece at all. So kudos to Ellenville Villa for making these fibers phenomenal. Um, so anyways, let's get into this piece in particular. Um, Arrow is, she's, she's not very long. She's, she's way above the boob. She's like right, right below, like my clavicles are like right there. So she's like four inches below. So she's long, but not long compared to like Zara or Kaya or Lion for Long. Um, if you're familiar with those pieces, that's why I mentioned those. Um, cause if you're looking for long wigs, then you, you are probably looking at those pieces as well. So I mention other wigs sometimes not to confuse anybody. Um, but probably because if you're looking at these wigs then you're looking at lots of different brands and different names. So it's good for comparison. So yeah, this is not as long as those pieces. Um, but she's still long. Uh, so she's a regular synthetic, um, open wefted cap and then the single mono part. Um, and the tabs that 
your tabs is, have velvet on them, which I'm finding is um, very, makes the wigs very comfortable. Um, she also has the uh, extended nape with the little metal um, stays, which, you know, with pieces like this, when I'm not securing my wigs with its stays or anything, um, those metal stays do help a lot. So, um, but this piece, so it has a single mono top, but if you're a left side parter, not a big deal. And um, the Ellenville's caps are made for small European heads. And mine, I have a small European head. So it fits perfectly. So if you have a big head, you're, you know, unless you know how to stretch out your caps, you're probably not gonna wanna get this piece. It'll just be, feel like you're constantly like pulling it down. But if you have a small head, Ellenville is your girl. And this piece, like my Ellenville's, I, there's no, you know, I mean, if I wanted to be skin tight, I could take out like two wefts, but for the most part, like I don't feel this piece is baggy at all. There's no bulking anywhere. So um, Ellenville is a very good brand if you have a small head. Uh, as far as Arrow goes, so she has these relaxed waves. And that is one thing that I love about Arrow is I, you know, I have I have human hair. A lot of times I go to my human hair pieces when I want relaxed hair that doesn't look all fancy and done up. But as far as Arrow goes, because I love these colors and right now I just can't afford human hair. So um, this is the next best thing. If you just want your hair to look very relaxed and not overly done, Arrow is your girl. And that is exactly why I love her. This just looks like, you know, at one point, either my hair I had up in a bun or it was curled and it's like a few days later. It's just chill, relaxed waves. I, you know, as far as realism, I don't think you could get any better than this. Um, so yeah, and I had talked about the fibers. I talked about how great they feel. So I just love this piece. I just, I play with it all the time because this is probably one of the synthetic pieces that I've felt that has felt closer to human hair than like a lot of my pieces, if I'm gonna be honest. So I love, love touching these fibers. Um, the mono part, so I, as far as realistic parting, I think um, Ellen Villa knows how to do it because, and I've shown pictures of me um, on my Instagram with Arrow on showing the parting space. And this, um, so I'm not gonna lie, let me take this off. I did enhance it. Um, I added, you know, I added that strip of um, scar away. So, but just, just like that, not completely to the end, just right there and I rounded it just so it doesn't have that flat square look. Um, it just, it enhances it, it really does. And um, so, yeah, I did that to help make this parting look more realistic. But I, um, and I have, it keeps some of my hair out. It just helps, cause see that little bit of widow's peak right there? That just helps make it look more realistic. Um, so between that, you do want to make sure that it's consistent with how the parting goes. You don't want to have like hair right there as well too. But, um, you know, look at that with that scar away, it totally, like I wore this for job interviews and felt so comfortable and it didn't bat an eye. Um, it just, it looks so realistic. It looks like my scalp. Um, so I'm gonna talk louder now because my husband is working outside. So, and I'm not gonna redo this review because I already had kept waiting. So I'm gonna keep going because um, a couple people wanted to see a review on this piece. So I'm trying to get it out. So hopefully you cannot hear the rock pressure in the background. I will talk louder. Please don't thumbs down because of the rock pressure. I will talk louder so you don't have to hear it, okay? Um, so anyways, yeah, look at that parting. It is a mono part, but it just makes this piece so much more affordable. Um, and I got this on the Beauty Nook. I wanna give them a shout out because uh, they have phenomenal deals. And um, whenever there's, like, I just always wait for their deals. If I can't find it used from somebody, um, I'm looking usually on Beauty Nook and sometimes uh, Wig Outlet. So um, yeah, Beauty Nook has phenomenal deals. And um, I entered a contest to win another Ellenville Arrow. I wanna get it in um, the Cinnamon Mix. But if I don't win it, I'm gonna have to buy it and I'll probably get it from the Beauty Nook. So anyways, they have great deals. But for the price of this piece, um, it is it is phenomenal. I love 
this piece. I just, I just want to keep wearing it forever and ever. It's so, I mean, that mono part is so realistic. And look at like the density of this hair, you guys. Look at that. It's so realistic, so realistic. Um, I just can't get over it. it. The way they have put the hair on the wig, it's not like other pieces where I've had to thin in certain areas to make it realistic and do an ear tuck. This, I mean, look at that. It tucks behind your ear so perfect. Not even an issue. They, they made it thinner. They did it the way I wish every wig maker would do it is, you know, they have less hair here. Like it's done tastefully. And so I would never ever have to thin or do anything to an Ellenville wig. So if you are wanting, if you want a wig and you're too scared to thin it or do anything to it, get an Ellenville because they just do everything to make it look so natural. You know, I mean, like, it's just look how, look at that hairline, that's a lace front. And they do the highlighting and it doesn't, to me, this doesn't look um, like, Raquel Welch has dynamite uh, lace fronts, we all know that. But sometimes they make it like it's blonde and then there's like this line of black, you know, dark right behind it. But look at how Ellenville did their piece. Look at that. It's not, it doesn't, to me, it doesn't, it's not like this thick line. It like blends so beautifully. And look, if you have like hair right here, I don't have that much right here. Some people do, but if you can incorporate that in, your is going to look, um, your hair is going to look so natural. I mean, you incorporate some of these um, sideburns. Like if you look at the beginning of the video when I did my spin, my 360, and you saw me put my hair up, um, I have a picture of that on my Instagram as well. And um, I had posted it on uh, on Facebook too, but um, it looks so natural with like your hair in the back and with your like sideburns and everything. And like I got some of this hair out, you know, it's, it's like close to the same color, color. No one else is gonna notice. So yeah, it looks pretty good. Like look how realistic that looks. You just, I just can't get over it. This hair is so realistic and it's not even a human hair wig and it's synthetic. You can, it's so realistic for such a good price. So I, if you want a wig that you don't have to do anything to, get yourself an arrow. If you want it long hair, get yourself an arrow. If you want short hair, get it, get it cut short. Um, it's just, this wig is so, so perfectly realistic looking. I love it. I just cannot get, I just can't get over it. I love how realistic it looks. So um, let's talk about the color. I'm sorry, I keep going on and on about this piece, but let me talk about the color now. This is light Bernstein rooted. Now I want to tell you, I am near outdoor lighting. It's cloudy, so, um, but the lighting is still accurate. There's no, it, there's no um, ring light in front of me and it, there's no like fluorescent lighting anywhere. So this is what light Bernstein looks like. Um, she, it is, it is just pretty much, you know, it's a little bit darker rooting. I'd say probably like an eight. And then it has this um, darker brown mixed in with these highlights. And if you want a natural color with, you know, subtle highlighting, this is a beautiful piece because she is not, you know, it looks beautiful. It looks like you have highlighting, but she's not a very, it's not a standout color. Um, it's very natural, like, like you have brown hair and you got highlighting. And that's what I love about it is um, it just looks absolutely perfect. Uh, it blends, if you have brown bio hair and you got hair that can poke out, it'll blend so naturally. Um, if you're new to wigs and you want to um, ease into the different colors and you had brown hair, this would be perfect. It just looks like, you know, you could wear this and say, oh, like if you don't want to tell people yet, because I know that that can be very stressful. I've been there. Um, you tell people like, oh, I, I got extensions and I got highlights and, um, you know, people will buy it and they're like, oh, okay. And um, you just, yeah, that's it. So this color is just a beautiful brown it's not too dark of a brown it's very golden so if you um i don't know how browns always work with with ashiness and cool tones and warm tones but i have warm tones so this goes perfect of so, you know it's, it's golden brown hair so um that's something to take into consideration so uh but yeah it's a very beautiful um lighter brown i think like their mocha mix is darker brown but this is a lighter brown with golden highlighting so i can't you know this is um 
sorry, my so many batteries dying. So yeah, this is a uh, very natural, natural highlighting. That's um, yeah, and with the rooting, it looks so perfect. So um, yeah, I I love this piece. I love this. I cannot wait to get another arrow, especially since they made their fibers feel amazing. And I hope they actually change something because it sure feels like it to me. Um, I would I couldn't say these fibers feel dry at all. So get yourself an arrow. Um, try this beautiful brown. Try all their colors. I uh, Ellenville's colors look amazing, and they're they're natural. Like they look so believable, and so that's what I love about their colors. Um, if you're looking for more natural and believable, that's a you know a brand to go with. So, anyways, I keep repeating myself. Uh, thanks for watching. If you watched till the end, give me a thumbs up. <clears throat> so I know I'm not just talking to myself right now and recording and having nobody watch. Uh, and um, please, you know. Let me know if you have any questions, leave any comments, whatever. I'll respond. Um, check my Instagram out. Um, I post pictures on there. It's fun to see other people in wigs, you know? So uh, anyways, thank you for watching and I appreciate you and have a good day.